Hey everyone, it's Ken here from Northern Viking Everyday. Today I have a quick PC building tutorial for you. We're gonna be showing you how to install this MSI Mag Core Liquid 240R V2 AIO cooler on an LGA 1700 socket in this PC here. Now we'll show you how to put it together. We'll show you how to install it and do the wiring. If you are interested in any of the components I used in this build, I will have them all linked below in the description, but let's go ahead and dive right into it. So we're gonna start out by setting up our radiator system here and then we'll jump over to our PC case and installing this whole unit. Now, I do wanna mention that we're not gonna be using all of the components here because we are installing this on an LGA 1700 socket. So the older Intel backplate and the AMD adapter, those we are not gonna be using today. We are gonna be using, of course, the LGA 1700 bracket and this piece right here. It's kind of a horseshoe that mounts right onto the head here. So um, we'll show you how to install all of that. Again, if you are using an AMD motherboard or an older Intel motherboard, this process will be slightly different for you. Now let's go ahead and set up our fans on our radiator. Now, when we have a look at the fan here, we've got our MSI logo on the one side and it just says MSI on the back. We wanna make sure that these are in the correct direction and also that the cables are coming out the back of the radiator so we can get them all hidden. So when we look at our radiator here, we kinda of wanna mimic it in our case so what it's gonna be looking like. I'm gonna have mine mounted on the top of the case and it's gonna be sitting roughly about like that. So we're gonna take our fans and again, make sure that logo is facing down and that these cables would come out the back of your case. So I'm gonna be putting it in basically like that is how it's gonna be sitting for both of them. Again, make sure those cables are coming out the back. So I'll lay the radiator down on its back here and we're gonna mount the fans to the radiator. So on the radiator, there's four machined um, screw holes and the fan holes line up with those. So you can just line them up. And in the box, there was eight screws that look like that. They're a little longer, maybe an inch and a quarter threaded at the end, they're Phillips screws. And these are what you're gonna to use to mount the fans to the radiator. So don't tighten them down too hard. You don't want to damage any of the threads. So we'll put those in there and just line them up and tighten them down. So those fans are attached to the radiator there. And the next thing we need to do is grab this bracket. And this is for attaching the head unit to the motherboard. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab this bracket and there's the open end here. The open end goes towards the hoses. And underneath here, there's a little kind of a notch. We're gonna grab this bracket and we're gonna slide it on there. Let me see if I can give you a better look gonna slide on just like that. Again, with the opening towards the hoses, we're gonna slide it down and then it's gonna be on there just like that for mounting it. Now I do wanna mention there is adhesive on here. We're gonna remove this right before we install this. So don't forget to do that later on. You don't wanna leave that in there, but let's jump over to the PC case and the motherboard and get that prepared as well. So I've got the covers off of my PC case here and my motherboard's actually installed in my PC case. And I happen to have a window here at the back so I can work on the back of my motherboard. If you don't have the window in your case, you may need to remove your motherboard um, in order to install the LGA 1700 bracket. So it looks just like that. There's two adhesive sticky tapes there. It says LGA 1700. And actually with this bracket, there's nothing we need to do to it. Um, it just lines up in there like that and goes into place. So I'm gonna actually remove the sticky tape here, push it down, and then we will move on to the other side of the case. There we go, you can see the sticky tape, and we're gonna place that down, line up all the holes, like that, and we're just gonna push it down so it sticks to that plate and holds in place. So our next step is to install the standoffs. There's four of them in the box, they look like that. They're threaded on both ends and you tighten them down with your fingers. And you can see around my CPU here, there's four threaded screw holes. Those are from the bracket that we just placed on the back side of the motherboard. So we're gonna just go ahead and screw those in. You can see they stick up there a bit. 
There we go, I've got those in there. You can see what they look like once they're installed. So from there we want to figure out where our radiator is going to go. I'm putting mine here at the top. And you kind of just want to line it up, make sure all the cables are through here on the back side. We're going to line it up as well as our head unit here so we can see that it's not going to bump into any other fans or anything like that. So we can kind of line it up here, get it into a good spot and make sure it's going to work for what we are doing. Um, once you've done that, there's eight screws in the box. They look like that. And we're going to mount the top of the radiator to the case. So let's go ahead and flip this case up and mount it in there. So I'm holding this up here and I'll screw in the screws. And this is something that might be easier with it laying down as well, just depending on how much space you have. I'm doing this standing up here because I don't have a lot of space, but uh, we'll get these screws in here. Again, there are eight of them. And you might want to do them pretty loose so you can actually move the radiator back and forth. So I can actually slide the radiator back and forth and then tighten them up at the end just so you know it's in the right spot. All right, those screws are all in here. I'm gonna flip my PC back down. So from here, I would kind of dry fit this, make sure everything's gonna line up, your hoses aren't gonna be in the way. The cool thing about this head unit is you can rotate it so that MSI logo is in the correct direction. Make sure you don't touch your CPU in this process and we need to make sure that we remove this before we um, clamp this down. So let's go ahead and apply the thermal paste. In the box, there was some thermal paste. Um, I'm gonna use the P method today, which is a dot of thermal paste in the middle, roughly the size of a P. I also like the method with a small X and four little dots. Um, I'll let you make the decision on what you wanna do. There's plenty of videos online about that. So let's go ahead and open up our thermal paste here. And we're gonna put a P size dot in the middle. About like that. And in the box, there's also four screws that look like that with little springs on them. That's what we're gonna mount this with. So let's grab our head unit here and we can go ahead and peel off that cover. You wanna make sure you do that. Don't forget that, really important. It's actually on there quite hard. And then we're gonna line this up and push it down. So again, make sure it's in the right way. onto all those four screws. And then we can take our screws here and we'll hand tighten them on first. And there is an order you wanna tighten them down in. So this is the first one right here. And then this one here. You want them pretty tight. You don't wanna strip the screws, but you do want it pretty tight. That's the second one. And then this one here, the third one, and then the fourth one here. Make sure they're all good and tight, and then we can move on to the wiring. So wiring this AIO is pretty simple. We're gonna break it into three different sections. First off, the pump fan cable. It's a three pin cable that looks like that. Then we've got the two regular fan cables, and these are the four pin cables. And then we've got three cables for the ARGB. So um, we're gonna show you where to plug all of these in. I'm not gonna do any cable management today. We're just gonna do it here on the front of the PC so you can see where everything goes. I'm gonna let you run your cables behind and make it as pretty as you like. So again, starting with the pump fan here, and this is the cable that runs from the top of your radiator. I've got it coming out the side here right now. And it's a three pin or three female connector there. And you can see there's two ridges on it. We're looking for our pump fan location. I have one right here at the top and you can see it's a four pin on mine, but there's a little bar on it that allows you to slide the three pin on the four pin. So let's go ahead and slide that on there. So that's on there. Just be careful you don't bend any of the pins while you're doing that. Next up, let's move on to the two fans here. And there's two cables coming out of those fans. They look like this. Again, they're the female four pin. And you can see, again, there's those grooves on there. So make sure you are putting these on the correct direction. 
when you're sliding them on. Now in the box, we did get a splitter here as well. So we're gonna actually be connecting both of these to the splitter. So we only need to plug it into one port on our motherboard. So we'll line those up, can make sure they're going in the correct direction. Just like that. And then this gets plugged in, again, the correct direction into the CPU fan one here at the top. So I'll point it out there on the photo. Just like that. And again, if you were doing this properly, you'd have all the cables running through the back, not with a big mess here at the front, but just to show you where everything plugs in. And the third thing we're gonna do is our ARGB cables. And each of these cables has one male and one female on them. So we're gonna pick one to be the first one. So let's see, one of them's coming from this fan for the lighting. Another one's coming from our, our block here. And the third one's coming from this fan here. So let's go ahead. Maybe I'll pick the um, block here to be our main one. So we'll pull the cap off. I've already pulled it off on this one. We're gonna take our second um, unit here from the fan. We're gonna plug it in. Again, these are three pins here, a three pin female on that side. We'll plug them together. And then we're gonna take the third one here and we're basically putting them in a line and pigtailing them together. We're plugging that into there like that. So now they're all in a row and we're going to take the initial one here from the block and we're going to plug it in here at the top again on my motherboard. These might be in a different location on your motherboard, but they're at the top on mine and it says J rainbow at the top there, J rainbow two. And we're going to just go ahead and plug that in. And again, this is a three pin. So make sure you are plugging it in, in the correct direction. There we go, that's all plugged in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean up some of these wires and then I'll show you what the lighting looks like on the AIO. There we go, it's all up and running. You can see the lighting here in the block and in the fans up here, the ARGB lighting. And I'm running that through Mystic Light on my computer and it seems to be working great. And it's really that simple to install this MSI Mag Core Liquid 240R V2 AIO cooler. So I hope this tutorial was able to give you value in installing this MSI cooler on an LGA 1700 socket. If it did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media and subscribe here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.